Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are in Day Z for Episode 1 of my series, My Favorite Base Locations. Now, in this series, I'm going to go over where I like to build. I'm not going to show you all the builds that I've, I've done because I play on vanilla, I play on PvE-only servers, I play on survival servers, I play on hybrid servers. So, it, each one of them has mods, of, except for, obviously, uh, official. But uh, some of them may have BBP+, plus, some of them may just have vanilla, or some other building mods. So, there's lots of things you can do. Um, with base building in this game. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So we are in what's called Austri. Now, Austri is just a, a mountain top with a radio tower. Okay, now where it is in relation to the map, here's the coast, okay? You've got Baronzino down here, it is wedged nicely here. You've got the airstrip here. You've got Austrian military right here. You've got Krasnostav here um, and Black Mountains right here. It, on a PvP server, look at none of these locations that I'm going to be doing in this series are going to be raid proof. There's no such thing as a raid proof base location in DayZ. If you ever see a video on YouTube that says raid proof bunker or whatever, it probably isn't. They're full of shit. Basically, the only way to really be raid proof in DayZ is to have stashes. Now, there's plenty of places to stash around here. You've got a lot of woods. A lot. Of, most people are not going to come down here into this wooded area. Okay, the Austria. This, these are barracks right here. This does get some traffic. The airstrip definitely gets traffic. But the good news is, is most of the traffic that you're going to get on a PvP server is going to be from the coast, okay? Your high-end geared players are usually not going to come down, you know, they're not going to come back to the coast. They're going to be up around Tizzy or they're going to be around uh, Northwest Airfield, okay? So that's the good news. Most of the traffic that you're going to get is going to be right here. Uh, from new players or new spawns coming in. They're probably going to be hitting these too. They may stumble across your base. Um, you know, uh, they're going to be able to mark it and come back later if they want, but the key is, is on a PvP server anyways, not to have a whole lot in there. Now, in terms of a PvE server, the location is great because you're right by Krasnov, Kras Krasnostav, which is a great big town to, to loot. You've got the airstrip, and you've got Austrian mili military. In addition to that, you've got Novo up here to the north, which is just a huge city. I think it's one of the biggest in DayZ. Um, so it's a pretty solid location. But let's look at the actual area that we're talking about here. So you've got a radio tower. Okay, You can climb that, and you've got a couple of perches up there. There's three of them total that you can use just to uh, see the surrounding area, see if anybody's coming up. You've got one outbuilding utility building here. This will spawn loot. Um, you know, every server is configured differently. You gate this. So this is one, secure area number one. You gate it. Um, you know, usually depends on the mods that you're using on the server or if you're playing uh, just, you know, regular DayZ. Put up a couple of gates here. Maybe back wall this one. What I like to do is I put a wall right here. Just a solid wall. So anybody that comes into this side, they're going to have to go through the solid wall. But the other thing I do is I usually put like a tent or another building right here. So it can double the wall. Like you're not going to be able to get through the tent. Okay. Um, again, it really depends on the server you're playing on. But this one is not the, the main entrance anyways. You definitely want to wall this off. Put something right here to, to double wall it. This is your main entrance. Now, the beauty of this location is, is number one, you've got this fenced-in area here. You put a little garden if you want over there. Um, you know, you cut down these trees. They will grow back. But you notice you've got these, these fences, right? You can't leap those. Okay? In addition to that, it, they're, they're barbed. So somebody can 
obviously if they really want to get in they can boost up over it but it's a natural defense that you have already built in for early game whatever uh, you know you can run right here from the coast you've got a fairly defensible location and it goes all the way around all right You've got two points of entry. You've got this main entryway, which leads you to the dirt road. And you've got one section over here that's down. So you've really got to put up two gate, two fences here. One here and one there. And once you get that done, you've got this whole area enclosed. Now, again, on vanilla or, you know, some of the, you know, hybrid servers, people are going to find your base no matter where you go. So I can't emphasize that enough. But in terms of location, this is pretty good because it's near the coast. It's by those two military locations. You've got this big area right here as you come in, okay? So you can build a nice garage there if you want. Um, reinforce the, you know, you can put two towers right here if you want. That's what, what I've done in the past. I've put um, tower right there, tower right there, and then gated it, and then double gated it back here. And then over here, I built... I put a gate, and then I put, I can't remember what I put right here. I, I think I put a couple of tents so they couldn't just, once they blew the wall, if they crawl, they couldn't just crawl in because there were two tents right there. They'd have to blow the top as well, and then they'd have to boost up over it because the tents on that particular server had code locks. Um, so either way it made it harder for them to get in they could still get in i mean obviously like i said in daisy they, if any if someone wants to get in they'll get in but you've got this decent location here um it, it's it literally to get going you need to fortify two two spots in a wall and you're good to go um and then you've got fallback position here where you've got um, another gate you know gated location here so they've got to get through that location then they got to come over here to get through to your good stuff and that's assuming that you haven't put your stuff in a in a um, catch oh god I can't remember that stash somewhere you should you should be stashing your stuff but as you can hear there's wolves in the background okay so you do have a wolf spawn which is nice there's a boar spawn around here you've got the two military locations and you've got this, the town Okay, there's a water pump right there. Um, down here, there's a couple of barns, which is nice in this black mountain here. What I did was, when I played this on vanilla, I came up here and I just secured this building. Okay? And what I did is I stashed up here by black mountain. Okay? So I kept my stash pretty far away. But all of those are, are basically, you know, it's not going to take too long to get there from the coast from Baron Zeno. Um, it worked out. My base was found. Someone did raid it. Um, but, you know, all I had in there really was some building materials, uh, some food, etc. The main the main weapons that I had, I had one kitted out. You know, what I do is I usually do two stashes, one with a clothing kit, one with a weapons kit. Um, and then I find the building stuff that I need along the way. Uh, plenty of woods around here as well for uh, your building needs. You're going to have to go find nails somewhere, but there's also no way to jump up, okay? You can't just jump up onto this. Okay, there's no, like on some of these locations, they have like a wood pile right here we can get up on the roof. Not here. So overall, this is a pretty solid place to build, particularly if you're playing like a PvE server. And there's like a, you know, um, they have an event for a raid. This is a fairly easy place to defend. Because you can get up here onto the tower, get up onto one of those platforms, and you've got your built-in tower right there. Um, and really, there's only two places that someone's going to be able to get in, unless they boost. But the chances of someone driving up here just to raid you like a group, yeah, probably not so good. Uh, but you never know. Again, this is Daisy. Anyways, this is Austri. So it's Austri Mountain right by the Austrian military, right by the air, airstrip Krasnostav, Krasnostav, I can never pronounce the names. And it's right at that, that radio tower. This is a nice little location. I like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this base location. Have you ever used it? Um, if you have, tell me what your experience was. I, I, I'd say that this is probably a 
a 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10. It really depends on the server you're playing. If you're playing on a PVE or hybrid server, this is actually a pretty decent location because you've got access to a lot of different um, locations. Baron Zeno isn't far. Uh, it, it's not bad. On, on a vanilla slash uh, PVP full server, it's okay. I mean, you still got this natural defense of the wall, which I think is pretty solid. So I, I would definitely, this is definitely one of the places I've based before. I've had mixed results here. How about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. And I'll talk to you again soon.